concerning the strength and the power of the cross, um, maybe we should remind ourselves of a few things uh, that God has given us, the strength of the cross and the sign of the cross. Many Christians already know this, but there are others who have maybe perhaps forgotten the strength of the cross. Uh, we usually have crosses in our home. This is one of the little things that crosses that we have in our home. It's a little brass um, self-standing cross. Okay, uh, here we have the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. We have, then we have the, um, on the other side, we have the uh, resurrection of Jesus Christ. We greet Jesus Christ after the cross is not standing alone. It has to do with his resurrection. This is another self-standing cross that they have in the monastery of St. Clemy in uh, Sagmata, about an hour's drive north of Athens on the National Road. And this is a, a piece of the, in the center of it, there's a piece of the actual cross of Jesus Christ. And on the top, bottom, and on the sides are holy relics of uh, some of our saints. One of them is St. George the Victorious, the miracle worker. St. George, who is a patron saint of England and of Russia. And, of course, we all wear, most Christians wear crosses. We feel the protection of a cross that we wear. Uh, because I personally, as one Christian, have uh, evidence from my friends of um, those in their families who did not wear crosses and what happened to that. But I'll get into that as a, uh, evidence a little while later. And this is one of our prayer robes that we have in orthodoxy and on this we do the Jesus prayer on the top it on the bottom it has its little cross and these are usually done by monks and nuns of orthodox monasteries and each little bead is um, specially done with nine notches of crosses okay and so they're usually made out of um, Silk. This is, happens to be silk or um, wool. And we do our Jesus prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on me, you're a sinner. Um, and I asked one of the nuns in, a, in an Orthodox convent what they pray, because they pray all night long. They do vigils every single night. They pray all night long while we sleep. Uh, and that's what they do as monastics, uh, as opposed to uh, nuns who... Um, as in the Catholic uh, Church, do uh, outside duties as well, such as teach or uh, uh, are in the nursing profession. Um, so uh, they also do, besides the Jesus prayer, they do the uh, prayer to our Holy Mother, uh, the Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 